Hey guys, happy December. And this is something new. We tried this last month and we got some really good feedback. So we're gonna do it again this month. So if you're jumping in live, please make sure to uh, leave a replay um, or say live down below, not the replay <laughs> right say, there. Wait, you want them to say replay? No, I don't want them to say replay. If you're, if you're new coming into it after the replay, please say replay. <clears throat> if you're live, just leave a comment below and we'll try to engage with you. But um, <clears throat> the topic today is everything or what happened in social media. So November of 2020, everything that happened, we had quite a few things here and we narrowed them down to five key things that happened in social media that we think you guys are going to be... Um, super happy with to know about right is that it yeah yeah right. i mean i don't think all of them are social media especially our last one has to do oh, with more website. with google um and, and your website but i think yeah 90 percent of the of the things here are social media related so first one is twitter um so uh, there's a, a ongoing joke around that uh, every single platform is just copying each other and they're everyone's doing stories now mm -hmm. and uh, twitter is one of those platforms and they, yeah. uh, they they're calling it something different they're calling it fleets and uh, essentially i mean it works the same way as uh, any other story on any mm -hmm. other platform where uh, in this particular case, case you basically share your tweets or your reactions um, into that story format mm -hmm. um and you, you know you have a few uh, tweaks that you can do change the background color add some text and very like minimal that. at this point yeah um also kind of buggy um yes. i don't know if you've used it but it just it doesn't feel as natural as uh, instagrams or or facebook i think instagrams is obviously i think the best mm -hmm. uh, but yeah it's just a a new way to share those 24-hour expiring posts mm -hmm. on on a platform uh with new uh fleets on twitter yeah the me i guess the meme is like everybody's looking at each other and they're all kind of doing the exact same thing. It's like Instagram copies, TikTok, TikTok copies, whatever. Yeah. And one of our later updates, you'll see somebody else is copying another person. So it's more of the same, but yeah, I agree. It's uh, something to check out. If you're using Twitter already, definitely check out fleets. They're probably going to give some, uh, I guess some boost towards the people who are using the stories, but it is still a little clunky. So check that out. Um, again, all of these will, we will link up if you want to be on the email list for this to get this email to you in a more bite-sized form. Um, just DMS us or message us and we'll send this out to you and we'll give you a link to this as well. Yep. All right. So number two here is Instagram uh, guides. So this feature had been available, but now it's rolling out to everybody. I don't currently have it. I don't know if Christian has had it or experienced a little bit more, but what is guides? What is Instagram guides? So uh, again, Instagram is just trying to figure out new ways to keep you on the platform, right? So with this guy's feature, which they launched a long time ago, uh, I want to say it was maybe last year where they did, or it might've been early this year, where they did guides specifically for either mental health or uh, like health related topics, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and I did see a few of them, uh, but essentially guide is, think of it as almost like a blog post mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, and again, they're just trying to keep you on the platform longer and introducing new ways to, to keep you glued in to, to Instagram and for you to find new things. So the, the, the new feature here is that um, it's not, any longer just for like mental health or, or Ill health in general, um, they're sort of opening it up for, for everyone, right? Um, so we would have the opportunity to uh, potentially do one of our long form blog post content and make it a guide. Very um, cool. Where you can insert, you know, long form text, some images and things like that. Um, and you can also share it to your stories. You can share it to IGTV, you know, whatever it may be um, inside of, of Instagram. Um, but yeah, I think, I mean, it's a, it's a great feature. And again, just new things that Instagram's coming out to keep you on the platform for longer. Awesome. All right, number three here, we have TikTok. It adds a new option to display your nonprofit. So super cool. I wanted to make sure that if you are watching this um, and you know somebody who owns a nonprofit, which probably most of you are watching this do, you can now display supporting, like for example, we're about to launch a video if you're watching this now, uh, later today, supporting Carson's Crusaders Foundation on our TikTok account, we could actually put the handle for the foundation or the nonprofit and just become more awareness. I don't know if there's too much with it yet as far as being able to donate yet, um, but you can uh, put that as like an option on your profile, which is super cool. Yeah, I mean, for sure, they, they do have the option for you to donate. And it, this, this TikTok update came with 
uh, the whole pandemic, right? Um, all the platforms were trying to figure out ways to to help, and um, one of the ways that TikTok was was helping with with the with the COVID pandemic was um, adding, uh, for example, stickers. Uh, so now you have stickers where you can put on your on your TikToks, um, and they can click on the sticker and actually donate to that nonprofit. Um, and now again, they've they've done something else where you can add that link. So Aaron in Aaron's profile, you can go to Aaron's profile, and then right there there will be a link that has Carson Crusader Foundation. You can click on it, donate from right there. Um, so they're just making it a lot easier for for nonprofits, yeah, to be able to get donations that way. Very cool. So make sure to share that with the nonprofits in your life. Uh, number four we have here is um, super easy or it's super cool. Um, Reels were kind of already rolled out. We talked about Reels. Uh, basically, it's Instagram's version of TikTok on there, but more importantly, the shop tab. So um, we've been working with our e-commerce clients and creating Commerce Manager. What this allows you to do is um, shop directly on Instagram and like say for example Christian's checking out some new shorts or shoes or something he can um, now get notifications from that brand that says hey um, we're now on the shop feature on Instagram and hey you left something in your cart so he's getting notifications now through Instagram and now you can literally find the product on Instagram see the product go to the website not even leave Instagram and purchase directly on there as well so very powerful for our brands that are working on online sales, um, a really good way for you to just basically turn Instagram into your, your sales uh, machine at that point. Yeah. I mean, I think that the bigger update here is that they actually have a dedicated spot, um, mm -hmm. on the app where you can actually go to reels and go to shopping, shopping and reels have been in the, in the platform. Shopping has been longer in the platform. Reels just got introduced pretty recently. Um, but now at the very bottom, uh, you may have gotten the update or not, but you will see the very middle one is going to be reels. And then the one right next to it where the heart and the, your notifications used to be. Now there's a shopping tab. If you click on that shopping tab, you will see all of the people that you follow that are actually selling products. So it's a lot easier for you to find products um, on the platform based on the people that you're already following, uh, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are hating it because uh, obviously they're restructuring the way that the app looks. Yeah. And it's a pretty big update. Um, but I think it, it works to the favor of, of some marketers and you, the business owners, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it kind of forces you to push that button to go check out shopping. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm getting used to it. I've had it for about a week now. So yeah, it's it takes some getting used to. It's kind of like everything where eventually it just becomes the norm. Yeah. All right, number five, last one here. This is actually a re-update from something that happened earlier this year, but then the pandemic kind of pushed things, which is, Google is going to start ranking your website based off of page speed. So they announced this way back, um, I think last year, like or this year, like in May, but in May of 2021, they're going to start ranking your website based off speed and user experience. So um, even more important, if you have a new website or have an older website, you need to be focused on making sure the user experience is great. So which means mobile is amazing. Um, it's a good experience on mobile and it loads fast. So those two things are going to help you with a better client experience or customer experience, but also going to help you with your Google rankings. Um, and we were just talking about this offline of ways that we can improve our website to make sure that we cater to this as well. So big update here. Yeah. Um, and just to be clear, this will be start effect, start affecting websites and, and your Google search rankings in May of 2021. Um, and, and some of the things that they were talking about is uh, loading speed. So how quickly it loads. Um, the, the interactivity. So, uh, whenever, uh, or how quickly are you able to, for example, click on menu, um, on the website and then also like visual stability. So, uh, maybe you've been to a website where, uh, it loads and then you're about to click on something and then it just keeps loading and then the button moves and you click on the wrong thing. Um, so that particular scenario, it's also a very important factor going back to what Aaron said, user experience, um, and making sure that the, that the user and the speed, um, it, you know, factors a lot a lot bigger than than a lot of the other signals um, that Google has been taking care of for the past few years. Um, so yeah, this update comes May of 2021. Awesome. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found value in it, um, please make sure to leave a comment below. Make sure you let us know that you were either live or replay. And um, we're also gonna be sending this out to all of our clients. If you want to be part of that list, um, just message us here on Facebook, give us your email address and we'll send it out to you with all the links as well as the video of something digestible for you to break down as well. So um, thank you so much for your time and we uh, will talk to you guys next month.